Hey guys, it's Jason here, and today we're doing a little, something a little bit different today. Uh, we're actually going to be doing a tier list, if you saw by the title or anything. The tier list we're going to do today is actually going to be on the Vanoss crew. Uh, the Vanoss crew is a YouTube group that I've always watched. I remember growing up watching these guys ever since like elementary school, like in third grade. But I had a little friend group in elementary that we all watched Vanos Gaming and we called ourselves the Banana Bus Squad. Um, I've been watching these guys ever since I was little. They basically kind of raised me, uh, which is probably why I'm a little messed up in the brain. But we're just going to do a tier list. I know I'm calling the Vanos crew, but that's kind of the name they got stuck with. Let's get to the first uh, first guy, uh, Vanos. I know Vanos is the biggest guy and I hate how they're calling the Vanos crew, but I'm, I am gotta be one of the biggest Mr. Vanoss. Uh, I'm sorry, if you get that, you get it. Our viewer ever, because I'm currently wearing his merch right now. I've bought so much of his merch, uh, and I've just been watching him since I was a kid, and he's always been funny. I think the videos where I found him was like his Nobody Epic, like remix stuff when I was a kid on what, Black Ops 2? But yeah, that introduced me to everyone here on this list. And I'm gonna show you some of the merch that I've gone over the years. I bought a lot. The original Vanos Gaming shirt, the Vanos Gaming zip up hoodie, Houdini, Vanos Limited t shirt, knockoff hoodie that I didn't even know was not a real hoodie back then when I bought it as a kid. I got it off like the Google store. I didn't know, I didn't know it was fake. The Do Not, I'm Not Scared shirt that you recently made. And then finally, this hoodie that I have right here. But I've wasted a lot of money, a lot of time watching these guys. Um, and since it's Mr. Vanos, uh, it's obviously S tier. I mean, his editing was very top tier when he, like, when they, when I first started watching them, his editing was on a whole nother level. My criteria to how I'm ranking these is like how funny they are, how much they add to a video, their iconicness, and like the whole history of the Vanos crew, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, let's get on to the next guy. Uh, we have here 407, also known as Scotty. This guy's pretty funny. He really adds to videos, I think. He's always cool when he's in videos. Um, his own channel does pretty good. Right now he has like a, right now he's doing reactions with the uh, Panda, who I'll get onto later. But yeah, I, I would say like, hmm, iconicness and just his whole like, and he's been in a lot of videos, so I think I'm gonna give him an A tier. He's pretty funny. He adds the videos every single time. He yells a lot, and he's just an overall like funny guy and a good guy. There's some not good guys on this list. Um, but yeah, I personally like him a lot. And yeah, I just think he deserves A tier. I don't know about A plus S tier. The reason why I added those A plus and B plus tiers is so because when you put them at the very top, it's like it's a drastic change when you go B to C. Uh, up next, we got uh, Bryce, Bryce Gaming. This guy hasn't appeared in videos lately, but appeared in a decent amount of videos over the years. He's a very chill guy, very nice guy, I can tell. He's always like laughing, he's always smiling. Um, he adds a little bit to the videos. I want to say as much as 407. So, I like him when he's in videos though. He's a very nice guy. You know, i say, I want to say he's as, like, as high of a tier because he's not as like, he wasn't with the crew for long, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I'll put him at B for now. I might change, switch things up in the later, later rankings. But yeah, I would say Bryce is around a B tier. I know no one really cares about my rankings. Um, I know I'm just a random dude on the internet who probably doesn't, can't even get my YouTube channel to be as good as the lowest person here. Um, but anyways, the next guy is Cartoons. Pretty OG Vanos crew member. Um, very good friends with H2 Delirious. That's what I know. And yeah, he's pretty good. He adds a little bit to videos, or he adds a good amount to videos. I like him. I just, uh, I don't have too many memories of him being in videos. I know he's not like as recognizable as like a 407, but I put, I put cartoons at like a B plus. He adds a good amount. But if you think of Vanos crew members, cartoons is not really like the one you think like in the main crew if you know what i mean um which isn't a bad thing that he wasn't in the main crew but we're ranking it based on the vanos crew like how they were in in the crew and next up we got silent droid silent droid was sort of like the 
perfect background character. I know it sounds pretty disrespectful saying that, but he was very funny. He rarely talked a lot, like how the other friends would talk, the other crew members would talk to each other. He'd always be in a character, like the stereotypical Mexican character. He's always, he always had funny jokes. And whenever he talked, it was pretty, it was like, it really added to the videos. I know he kind of like, I seen a video recently where he uh, said he didn't think he was funny, but I believe he was funny. He did add a videos and droid also at like a B plus tier. I wish he would be in more videos. <laughs> It'd be even funny if he wasn't playing GTA 5, which he usually was only in those videos. It was always funny when he was like in the Among Us stuff where he said like he felt like the guy felt like Legos or something. But he's always he always has those little witty jokes that add a lot to a video. So that I would put him in B plus. Um, anyways, next guy here, H2 Delirious, I would say is another S tier on the Vano screw he's the most probably the second most iconic out of all these guys his laugh his mic quality um his jokes his freaking teddy bear that he always talks about this guy somehow is still never been like his face has never been leaked yet he's still faceless after years upon years of doing youtube i don't, still don't know how he did it but this guy he was one of the biggest ones and he always added to videos he was always one of the main parts main jokes and he always had his like little shark eating a cheeseburger he was always with vanos he was always like the co-partner of vanos if you know what i mean like a, like he was the bat coon and he always had those jokes and he'd always be like one of the main parts of the videos which is why he would probably be s tier because he adds so much to the videos that he would be up there and yeah h show delirious is a legend and all these guys are like uh not all these guys um most of these guys are legends and h2o delirious just happens to be one of the guys on the very top and yeah that's h2o delirious let's get to the next person we got cryos gaming um i wouldn't really say he's a vanos crew member because he usually he's more like a smitty like friend but whenever he appears in vanos gaming videos he is very funny he's like um, you can tell that everyone likes them and like the jokes that they have with each other a lot of these There's some people here that Really appeared a lot when Among Us came out, which doesn't uh, Put them down in any of the rankings. I, he just added he added a good amount to the videos Well, he had some jokes with Vanos. He um, but I want to say he's like a Vanos crew member like that I, I want to say he's like a high tier one of those I say on his own like when um he's making videos with like smitty in them he would definitely be in the high tiers but since it's like a vanos crew tier list he'd probably be like a b tier if he was in like let's see if there's like a smitty tier list where you know those other youtubers like grizzy and puffer which i was thinking about adding to this list but i already got a lot of youtubers here to add um so we got cryos gaming at a b um i feel like i should move up 407 we'll, we'll we'll do our adjustments at the very end but cryos gaming overall good guy overall good youtuber he's a interesting personality and yeah i put him at b for now might go up might go down next up we got louis caliber the ultimate squeaker man he has been through a lot uh, he's one of the most og ones his Squeaker voice really added a lot to the videos. I just remember growing up, I had no idea how he was doing it until I found out he actually could do it with his voice. I always thought it was like a voice changer, but man, he pretty high tier, I would believe. He got into that drama. I know he's probably, I know that drama's gone by now. Really good friends with Vanos. He started, I mean, it made Vanos do the whole, like, let's play face cam series with him. He adds a lot to the group. I say he goes, a plus he's close to an s tier but since he was gone for all those years uh, i would say he was a plus i mean when he was squeaker squad i remember on the xbox 360 i actually got his uh his player emblems the squeaker squad player emblems i i don't know why but and next up we got actually one of my one of the most underrated and underappreciated members um we got moose knuckle um 
I, I never knew what his name meant when I was a kid. I had to Google it when I was older. Um, but he's always been like a very good, nice guy. I know he's a family friendly guy, which, you know, I probably needed to watch him more than other people when I was a kid. He's a dad now. He retired. I mean, not really retired. He stepped back. I do miss him in videos. He always had those little like witty jokes, those dad jokes that would always add videos. He was always pretty funny. I think he was pretty under underrated. I just wish everyone in the Vanos crew could go back old days where all of them were cool with each other and all of them still recorded and they all had this were still succeeding the way they did last back then. But anyways, Moose Knuckle, very underrated. I miss him uh, when he was recording a lot. No good made him retire. I know that was a joke, but I would say he is also an A plus tier. Uh, Moose Knuckle, very underrated. And yeah, I would say it would be A plus tier. He's an iconic um, Anos crew member. And next up, we got a pretty controversial take, I would think. We got Nogla, all right? This guy has been pretty iconic his whole, his whole time in the Vanos crew. I guess he's stepping back now, but like he's still doing the reaction channel with uh, Brian, or Terrorizer. I know I'm call calling him on a first name basis as if I know him. Nogla? Man, his whole character being like a stupid and annoying dude really, really gets on other people's nerves. And I'll be honest, I found him pretty annoying too. Like the fact that he almost got, he got Wildcat to make a apology video because Wildcat got so mad at him. He knows how to tick people off and he's always kind of ticked me off. Like in the Among Us, he always thought he was the greatest player in the game. He always annoyed other people. He would not be interested in recording. He'd be opening Pokemon packs in the middle of videos. He'd be eating candy in the middle of videos, ordering food, eating food. And this guy was over the years, man. He's gotten more annoying. He's gotten to religion now. Like, bro. Anyways, he's an A plus tier. Um, I was just joking. I, he's just too iconic of a character. I know what I said was uh, about him was all bad, but most of it, I know his character is his personality is to annoy people. Uh, he's, he does that on purpose, at least I hope so, or else Moose Knuckle literally re said he retired for it. I know he said that was a joke. All that stuff I just said was kind of a lie. I mean, some of them are truths, but honestly, Nogla is very funny. He's a nice guy. Um, uh, he just knows how to annoy the, the people in this group very much. I don't know how Terrorizer has a reaction channel with this guy. Um, I know I said Moose Knuckle is a very underrated guy. But I would say the most underrated and underappreciated guy is this guy, Big Jiggly Panda. He's got to be one of my favorite, favorite members out of, out of all of them. He's a really, really nice guy. He's always stoned. He adds so much to videos with his laugh. He adds so much with his jokes, his like little, little jokes here and there. But one of the main reasons why he's such a good member is because you could tell when he's playing games with everyone else in the crew, he's such a good guy that he makes everyone happy. He makes every single member, like he makes everyone smile. He makes everyone laugh when he laughs, even though his laugh might be fake. I don't know if that's that was true or not, but he had so much to videos because he makes everyone just feel better and want to actually play the game. Maybe mess with him, make sure he gets a reaction. His rages are super funny like when he rages at video games the reason why he doesn't play video games that much is because he kind of sucks at them which makes it even funnier in videos he adds a lot to those videos he does a lot in the videos and i want to put him in s tier but i feel like i gotta put him in a plus um i know i was just talking all like how good he is but he's just overall a good guy no controversy no no nothing he just he's just a really happy dude and yeah i've just always liked him i liked his content and i hope he starts recording more games with them even though you know he's kind of stopped doing that but anyways let's get on to the next guy this one's a little bit of a weird one it's uh smitty the reason why i said it's a weird one is because if we're doing based on his channel alone i would put him in s tier because i love his content i love everything he does he's super funny but if we're talking about Vanos, Vanos crew, he's in videos, he adds a lot, but it wouldn't be S tier. But like when you think of Vanos crew, he's not 
Smitty's not like the main one of the main guys you think of. Smitty is really funny, really funny. But as if in a Vanos crew, he adds lots of videos, but he's not a lot of them, if you know what I'm saying. So I would honestly, I probably if it was like his own channel, it'd probably be S tier. But if we're talking about Vanos crew, he adds a lot. He's pretty funny with everyone. He's he's cool with everyone. I'd put him A tier. Um, maybe A plus, but A tier is pretty good for him because, you know, he's not in a lot of videos, which is one of the things that you got to think of. In the Vanoss crew, you have a lot of people that come in, come out. Um, you have a lot of people that show up in videos, but if they don't like stick with them, then they usually just leave. Um, like there's a lot of people that joined in Among Us and then they haven't recorded with them since. But anyways, Smitty is probably A or A+. Plus. It's probably close to A+. Plus, but I'll probably put him A tier. Probably leave him A tier. Might go A+, plus after I do some final final things. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. We got Sark. Now, Sark is very important to the group, actually. He's kind of like their father. He's like all these guys' father. Well, at least the main Thanos crew. Sark helps out, helped out with Alpha Betas. He helped out with a lot of stuff. He's very funny when he's in videos very underrated in videos i would say but yeah he kind of helped pave the way for all these guys honestly you know he's that he's a father to them you know a lot of them look up to him i would say i mean i can't really say that like terrorizer always talk good on him dark is always really really good in videos but if you think about vanos crew and like how much he adds to videos he's not in a lot um but i would probably put him a tier which is pretty which is really good he basically helped these guys out you know he's very important to the vanos crew which put them in a high tier and yeah let's get on to the next guy mr terrorizer brian michael hamby mr kobe logo uh but honestly i i would like to like roast him like i did to nogla um but he's honestly pretty much an s tier i would say he literally adds on to adds so much to videos he's very funny the dude the voice for some reason he was a chinese horse waiter in gta i don't know how his character turned into that but um he's always funny always adds jokes he's always one of the main focal points to videos like when i when i'm talking about like how much to add to a video there's a lot of people on here that their jokes may not or like their parts may not be in the video when i'm talking about vanos gaming videos but terrorizer was always a focal point he was always he's always one of those people that think of vanos crew you think of terrorizer Cause he's just a very funny guy who did a lot of impressions and Vanos really likes to mess with him, which makes, makes it funny. And all of them like to mess with him. He's a nice guy too. I like, I like him a lot when it comes to like, um, outside of YouTube, uh, on his own channel and stuff. He brought that $30,000 gaming or racing simulator. And then we're going to go to our next person up. Um, we have Mr. Wildcat. I'm pretty sure wildcat is also an s tier for me honestly he's always been funny he's always a big part of videos he always adds a lot always has his jokes there's a reason why he's one of the most subscribed people is because he always has like good content on his channel um he always does good in video games uh he's known as a try hard and back in black ops two days he always had good trash talking videos which added a lot he always had his like accent like making fun of people uh there's that one clip where he's telling van Austin to invite him to the to the party i like i'm saying iconic a lot but he's really a main really main member of the vanos group i'll put him in s tier too because when he went to fortnite too he succeeded so much in that i watched all of his fortnite content too and i know he left the vanos crew to go do that but when he came back uh he was also funny he just got back straight into it and you, you can tell he's cool with all these guys not all these guys his rages are funny too um he he raged so hard that he had to make a video apology to nogla he's very emotional when it comes to comes to video games and uh it makes videos like way better all right going on from wildcat which that's our fourth s tier we have got Oh shoot. Uh we got um Mr. Easter Bunny, Mr. Wanna be controversial guy. I mean it's obvious here where he's going. He's always on all the way on the bottom. 
I mean, with all that controversy, I'm not going to get get too much into that. I'll be honest, even before when he did all that stuff where he tried to be all controversial and try to get everyone like canceled and stuff, I honestly kind of found him pretty annoying. I didn't really like his voice a lot. And he, his only like main joke would be that he's a bunny rabbit in, in Gmod. A lot of them made fun of him and stuff. He'd always like try hard, like go quiet and like prop hunt and just kill people. If it was before a controversy, it'd probably be like a B or a C. And yeah, that's... That's Mr. Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Next up, we got a very iconic member as well. A very, like a really, really good uh, member of the Vanoss crew. The, the funny black dude. I don't know if I can say that. But yeah, basically I do work. Marcel. I've always liked him. He's always funny. He always had those voice clips that Vanoss used. Always. He always had jokes. Always a big part in the videos that they made. Even when he went to Fortnite as well, like I also watched all of his content too. I think he's a really cool guy. The fact that he's a balloon artist also makes him cooler or a clown, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's always been nice. He's always been a cool guy. I'm sure everyone else in the in the group likes him. Always has the videos, he always has that joke. He made that Olive Garden uh, song, theme song, that was really cool. I mean, like you could, I think one of the main reasons why one of the main things I'm thinking of when I'm ranking these guys, is, when I say iconic, I mean like I could think of moments that happened in videos that they did that were super funny. And like, I could think of like core memories I have of them throughout the years. Cause I've been watching you guys most of my life. I've been watching these guys since I was in like third grade. So if I could think of like specific memories that I have of these guys, I would put them higher and more I think of like how much stuff they came up with. You know what I'm saying? So basically I do work would probably go A plus tier as well. I'm close to putting him in S tier, but I'm gonna put him in A plus. Um and yeah, that's that's basically I do work. He's always he's been a cool guy, deserves a A plus tier. Um next up, um I mean it's obvious where he was gonna go to, especially since you know he actually became Pablo. Um I'm not gonna speak on the controversy, but I'm gonna speak about before the controversy. I actually liked him a lot. Like he was one of my favorite ones growing up. Yeah, it sucks that he's become that guy. Um, I won't lie, when he broke off from the group originally, I actually kind of watched his meme streams. But you know, he's a cool. I mean, he was a cool guy, but you know, things happen. Things people change, and people some people uh, turn to Pablo. Um, and anyways, yeah, that's why he deserves the bottom tier. Uh, next up, we got Spoonerism. Uh, this guy's more of an OG guy. He has like recent like four or five years. I don't think he's really appeared in that many videos. Um, I don't know why he stopped recording with them. Uh, I just remember he was, he was always like a pretty cool guy. Um, he had a little bit of videos. He was he was really he was pretty funny. He I pretty sure he had like that voice changer in like Titanfall 2 or something. Uh, he always had that robotic voice changer. He was, he was pretty funny. He added some to videos, but I can't have, I don't, that Titanfall robot is like the only thing I remember. So I think he'd probably be like a B tier. Yeah, I'd probably put him B tier just cause he's, he's been in videos, but I always remember stuff from like other people in the videos before him. Not that he's not funny. He's pretty funny. I, I, I think I remember some stuff he said. Um, he's a pretty cool guy. I mean, I say that about all these guys, except for the bottom two, but so he'd probably be B tier. There's nothing wrong with being B tier. It's kind of like that. You're you're good, but you you haven't been in all the video. Like you're not one of the main. Oh man, that sounds wrong. The main people. There's actually someone missing here. I need to I need to get his picture. Um, I I decided to add him. It's a uh, chill chaos. I'd also put him in like a B tier. He's one of those guys with like Bryce, where they're really nice people. They're really cool people. Um, obviously they aren't like one of the main members. Um, they add to videos. They're sort of kind of like, oh, it's it sounds wrong saying background characters, but it kind of is like that. It's like they add a little bit of jokes. They show up the recordings. They make it better. Um, but yeah, honestly, those two guys, like the the B tier is all guys that those four guys are all people that add to videos. Um, and yeah, it just it sounds it looks so wrong just putting them in that B tier though. But yeah, that's where I would put them, you know. Uh, next up, we got Racing Cats. I'm pretty sure this guy was secretly a furry. Um, he he uh, appeared in some in uh, like one of the some of the OG videos. He'd always appear. 
for some videos and then disappear for a while and then reappear like um he reappeared for was it among us randomly people there's a lot of people that forgot about him but i remember him being in some videos but so i can't really put him that high because like i said some people people forget about him but he was one of the og guys he helped he was with them in the in the og uh black ops days tough to put them, him here but it's probably a c tier uh he had he was from what i remember he was sort of quiet in videos he wouldn't really talk that much compared to everyone else uh, i checked his channel he has posted like it two year a year or two um but yeah racing cats i'm sure he's a cool dude i he seems like a very nice dude. I, I watched some of his videos. He was always just so kind of quiet in videos. And that's why I would put him in C tier. Uh, next up, we got a very funny guy, uh, Legion. I know he hasn't been in the, I hate saying was he in the group or not, but he's a very funny guy. Um, on his own, he he's probably one of the funniest up there. It's just that when it comes to Vanoss crew, he's not like one of those main members that I think the top two tiers is like the main people you think of when you come to Vanoss crew. Ooh, I probably should put Scotty up. Um, uh, he's very funny. He has the jokes. You can tell everyone thinks he's funny in this group. I love watching his streams. I love watching his videos. He always adds a lot to videos, but the fact is that he's not in a lot of the videos. On his own, he'd probably be pretty high up there. But since we're talking like Vanos, Vanos crew, I would say he'd probably be like an A tier or a B plus tier. Mm, I feel like I should move up. I I'll make the final things later, but. Feel like he's in that a tier he's a very funny dude very nice dude so yeah we'll put him we'll put him in that we'll put him in that a tier and finally we got someone who i think every a lot of people have forgotten about um velocity hd i remember i remember i remember him being in the background a lot he's basically a background character that's never really spoken in any videos only two times i can remember him talking was this one time, like one single GTA 5 video? I always remember his character, what his character looked like, but he never talked. So that's why it's like he returned uh, to Vanoss Gaming videos for one video when Louis, when Louis, uh, when Louis returned. And I remember he didn't, he wasn't supposed to talk or anything. He was literally supposed to just record them. I just remember he returns. He finally has some voice lines, but. All the video was about is him getting absolutely roasted by Louis about how he tried to make a character like how everyone else did in GTA 5. He tried to be the hazard. He tried to make his own character like how Vanoss has Night Owl, um, Delirious has Batcoon, Terrorizer has a Chinese Horse Waiter. Velocity tried to make his own and he's actually the least subscribed person on this list, I think. I'm sure he's a nice dude, but I feel like he doesn't, he really doesn't add, he's really like, He's always been in the background. Like, as an Vanos crew member, I would probably put him D tier. All right, I made a few adjustments. I uh, I put Cryos from B tier to B plus tier. I put Cartoons down to B tier. Uh, and I put, and I also put Legion down to B plus tier just for the fact that, you know, he's not in too many videos. Yeah, I think that's basically my list. Let me know if I missed anyone. Let me know if i'm really done with this and i'm wrong but yeah honestly this is harder than i thought and i feel like i really should put 407 in the a plus i will leave it but anyways that's my vanos screw tier list you know i've watched these guys for my, almost my whole life and i appreciate all of them for uh, making my childhood better shining a little light on my life making it happier making it funnier and i i would like to thank all of them except for those bottom two people as a Vanos crew tier list, let me know if, if you need me to make any no other tier list. I know my opinion pretty much doesn't matter because no one really knows me, but you know, uh, that was my Vanos crew tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.